Hey, what's going on, YouTube? RMMO25 here bringing you another game on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, and I have to complain. You'll see, um, these past couple of days, everyone was playing Evil Tell or Dark Rydex, and as soon as I decide to go with big basics, just straight big, big basics with no Garbodor, everyone is playing Blastoise. What is going on? <laughs> what's wrong with you guys? I want to have Easy knockouts only on Dark Rise, and now I have to deal with Blastoise and Raybors everywhere. Anyway, this time I will be playing against Arialison, and he will be playing an interesting Mega Blastoise deck, something that my deck will really not appreciate. Anyway, let's go and check the battle. <coughs> mm. Let's see... My opponent will flip the coin and if he flips right, obviously he will want to go first. At this moment I don't know what he's playing and look at that, we see Blastoise and that is just when I start to complain. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, why Blastoise? <laughs> anyway, I start with Mewtwo and my opponent chose Blastoise EX, that was really unexpected. And right here, I only really have no reason to laser that. That's a, that is an awful hint. Look at that, four energies. <laughs> four energies! <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Anyway, we see the energy coming down into this Blastoise EX and that Legged Ball most likely will give my opponent a Squirtle. And never mind, he <laughs> says that Squirrel is not as important as Voltorb for weird reasons. Yeah, that's. That was weird. Anyway, right there, I want to save that DC in, in case I need to attach that into Buffalon. And I want to save my two Pokemon Catcher uh, in case a Squirrel is coming down anytime soon. Which, by the way, does not look like it will. Why would you go for Voltorb? I have had this many guys playing... Doing this weird place. I don't know what is going on. Seriously, I have no idea what is going on. You need a Squirtle. You really need a Squirtle. Anyway, right here we are about to see a rapid spin, which means that I have to switch. And I'm stuck. And that's it. Yeah. That's it. I will attach that DC into my Buffaland and as you can see we are both drawing so freaking dead. Yeah, so freaking dead. But if I'm able to hit that uh, heads on my Pokemon Catcher, I will be able to knock out this Mega Blast, this Mega Blast, this Blastoise EX. And that will be very sweet. Here comes a Water Energy into this Voltorb and... I don't like you because he's going to rapid spin again and again and again and looks like what he wanted to do was for me to knock out this Voltorb that is why he's trying to that is why he went for Voltorb instead of Squirtle I don't know maybe those five damage are very important at least that is what this looks like anyway that is that's a dead Blastoise EX. Yay, we love that. He finally plays a supporter. I think I, that was the first supporter of the game. Here comes a Blastoise. Finally, there is a Squirtle. Not the good Squirtle, by the way. And... Yeah. Okay. So... Things are looking nice. Right there, I will be able to play that Pokemon Catcher because I really want to get rid of that Squirtle. But that will not be the case. Yeah, that will not be the case. Right there, I will get rid of my Beerbank City Gym and Max Potion. Looks like this guy is not playing Tropical Beach. So I'm pretty much safe to go into my Landorus and have that Electro, electro that Voltar explode into my face. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? And that Juniper pretty much gives me every single Pokemon on my deck. Lovely, just what I wanted to see. Uh, I really don't want to bench another Landorus because Landorus does not appreciate Blastoise decks and that Voltorb is going to explode in my face, as I told you before. That is not good. 
Yeah, that's not good. Here comes another Voltorb, a non-exploding Voltorb. Looks like this guy really does not want to play uh, two copies of the same card, except for maybe Blastoise EX. But he decides that Voltorb does not look good on his bench, and then he regrets that, and here comes the Voltorb. Yeah. Here we see a Professor Juniper right there. I did not want to check what he was going to do. Because if this lander is able to survive and my opponent does not get a Blastoise, I will be very happy. But guess what? That is not the case. Really, that is not the case. And we are about to see a lot of damage. Because this Blast CX is going to basically overkill my poor Landra CX. And never mind because he decides to make I evolve. Uh, seriously, guys, I really don't understand a lot of the plays. Great, that color is pretty much. Well, you'll see. Last Juniper gave me basically every single Pokemon in my deck. This color race gave me every single supporter in my deck. That's just great. That is just great. <sighs> I will Hammerhead and I will attach that energy into my Palkia. That might seem like a little a weird decision and I'm sorry about that. Suddenly there were weird noises and I didn't know what was going on. It turns out that I had Minecraft running in the background. I click the dog and... No, I, I have no idea. Maybe I forgot to close that when I was playing earlier. Uh, or something happened and yeah, that never closed up. So we're finally going to see the overkill into my poor Lander CX. Mm, that's not good. <laughs> that is really not good. And I cannot promote my Buffalon because my Buffalon will be pretty much knocked out by this Hydro Bombard. And now that it has... What? Okay, so we see that, nope, my opponent decides not to knock me out because he did not get the energy. I keep promising you that he will do an overkill and he decides not to do it. That is just bad. Especially because I know there is an overkill somewhere around here. Okay, there is the overkill. Finally, he gets the energy and he plays. Super Potion. So that means my Buffalan will not be enough to knock out this Blastoise in this turn. And what is going on with PTCGO? Everyone is playing, well not everyone, a lot of people are playing Super Potion to these days. I don't think I have ever seen uh, that many Super Potions being played. So Blastoise looks like, Bla the Bench Blastoise is looking like it wants to go all out that thing wants to attack me it wants to have my blood <laughs> finally the overkill it happened it happened <laughs> and yeah if we will see 30 into my already damaged Mewtwo and 30 into my Palky AX there was no reason to to attack uh, that Mewtwo because basically he already has enough uh, damage output to knock it out. It was much better for him to knock out to do 30 to my now active Mewtwo. Because right now he will be able to knock it out. <coughs> and obviously I will not appreciate that. <coughs> I'm sorry guys. Um, so we see lots and lots of energy coming into this Blastoise and this Blastoise really wants to draw some blood. Bench Blastoise because we have another Blastoise as the active Pokemon. Uh, we are about to see a Hydro Bombard sometime, someday, somewhere. Yeah. And as you can see that Hydro Bombard will have been enough. And that is something that I had not realized before about Mega Blastoise. Hydro Bombard with those 30 damage and a muscle band can pretty much 2 hit KO every single 170 HP EX, which is really nothing that you want to see. So right there I'm going to um, 
switch just to save my Mewtwo, that was a risky move because maybe he's playing another Mega Blastoise. I really did not expect that, but I didn't want to take the huge hit coming from this super power Blastoise. Yeah. <laughs> and right here, if he's able to knock out my Buffalo, which I don't think he will. Basically, this game because that bot Electro now Electro has 60 damage already. I have a Landorus CX with one energy, and pretty much that is game because I need only to draw my last prize, and that's it. So right there, I don't even have to pay retreat cuz because I draw into that uh, escape rope, and that will be the game. Anyway guys, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to see more content. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Oh no, before I do that... Mm, no, that's it. I will see you all next time. <laughs>